Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part nine of my Iron Man inspired Hulkbuster build. Last time we made these forearm pieces to attach the hand to, to replace my cardboard mock-ups that we made in the previous parts. And these open to allow weapons to pop out. So I've got a pair of those. This time we're going to attach the hands and try and get the mechanism to work and then think of bit about the rest of the back of the hand plate and the elbow hinge. So I need a couple of extra bits for the hand. One of those is some sort of repulsor setup. So um, I've designed this part to go in the palm of each hand. Um, these are roughly cut out of a 100 mil square block. So they're fairly sizable. Um, that will stick flat onto the hand plate onto the palm. And I've left these cutouts at the top um, in that corner so that um, I can attach a piece to the bottom of the forearm there as a bit of a cross brace and, and that'll be um, easier to see once I show you the physical parts. The other piece is this plate which uh, basically is going to go into the foam in the back of the hand so it's going to be a cavity cut out and this is going to be inserted up to the midway point and the back of there where we can see the slanted sort of brackets are to acetone weld onto the existing 3D printed structure for the forearm. So let's get these printed and I'll show you them in real life. Okay, so I've already printed and painted the repulsor unit, which is on the palm there. I'm not sure whether I want to just put a bright light in that. Maybe I could put CO2 jets in, but there's more than enough space. And obviously I've left this um, access hatch in the back so that we can put the stuff in. Um, and that's mounted on the palm there so that my pull rods for the hands, you know, travel underneath. So the other plate I showed you, I've really glued into this hand. It's one of these. I've actually got the other one here. So you can see that it's glued up to the midway point there. So this is actually inserted right into the foam and it's all glued in with Gorilla Glue, which is incredibly strong glue. So that I can actually hold the whole hand on that and everything's fine. And that is then gonna mount onto my forearm. So let's just grab one of those. So this is the forearm piece. So what in fact is gonna happen is the bracket here is going to acetone weld on And then these lumps here are going to have another bracket to this piece. And that should hold the hand on there nice and square. And the pull rods, of course, pull in between the two pieces where it's attached. So it keeps it nice and stable. So I've decided to um, sacrifice the wrist rotation that I was originally going to have. And in fact, have the whole arm so it rotates. And that's how you get the uh, ability to basically flip up the arm to reveal the hand plate and point the guns in whichever direction you want. So I'm going to get a few more pieces together and then we're going to make the mechanism to pull the cords and to open the hand plate. I wanted to show the whole thing, um, the whole assembly some distance from the camera. I've added one new piece, which is this red piece, which cross braces the repulsor um, assembly with the rest of the wooden and 3D printed frame. So that now gives me two points that this is mounted on, the silver piece and the um, red piece there. So the hand is nice and rigid. And in the middle, of course, I've got my strings that pull to activate the hand. And I've allowed an anchor point for springs to pull that back the other way, which I'll come on to shortly. So that works quite well. Obviously the hand's gonna be in that orientation. And the hands plate at the back here, of course, opens up to reveal some of the mechanics on the back of the hand. And of course, I've still got to build some more finger covers that are gonna cover this and cover the fingertips, again, out of foam PVC, which I haven't done as yet. I've also printed some other parts, so let's have a look at those. So what I've got here are some immediately fairly uninteresting looking parts. I've got, um, 
a piece there with a pulley in the middle and I've also got this piece and this of course mounts to these motors that I discussed in the first part so these are cordless screwdriver motors which have actually had the the back of the handle cut off I've 3D printed pulleys which are mounted onto the, actually the hex screwdriver bits and on the other end is a bearing which is fitted onto the bit there so I can brace this across and in fact it fits into here like so and it'll get cable tied and glued in place so that a string can be pulled around this pulley through here so I'm going to show you those now mounted on the arm so here are my motors mounted on the arm I've had to put this on the floor because things are getting a little big so I've got one motor here which of course pulls that pulley to activate the hand plate the other one goes through this pulley in the middle and it's in the middle for a specific reason and that one of course pulls the fingers so I still need to fit a return spring on there to push that back I've got an anchor point which I built into the silver plate um, to facilitate pulling this back so the fingers can stretch back a bit which I haven't installed yet I'm probably going to change that bright yellow string for another colour but for now it's easy to see against all of the black and the reason this pulley is in the middle and not offset is because once this hand plate opens um, basically I need to have a weapon which sits across that string like a saddle um, so it can go up and down without having the string cutting across diagonally so let's get some power on these motors and see what we can do so I've got a totally inappropriate power supply here with a big 5 volt regulator on it and the motors are 3.6 volts so really I need to just sort out some PWM and a proper speed control but for now we can make the motors turn and see what happens so I've got this wired in, let's just see yep, a bit fast but uh, nonetheless does open and obviously the weapons pod will pop out hoping to have telescopic pieces that slide out but we'll have to see how that goes and shut again just do that once more seems to work quite well and whoops obviously I need end switches and some other control around this yep there we go and let's give those fingers a go so I know that there's uh, still some fine tuning to do on this but anyway seems to close and obviously I still don't have the return spring, but anyway, if I slacken this, should be able to get those fingers to go back. So, it works relatively well. We still need to um, obviously use a PWM controller and have some end switches and proper control over it. So there are still quite a few parts to make for the forearm, including the weapons pod that pops out, and also the covers that are going to cover the bottom of this and be in the same style as the top. After that, we're going to be then working on the rest of the arm plate and the elbow hinge and, of course, the rest of the arm and the suit. Unfortunately, that's all I've got time for in this episode due to the sheer amount of 3D printing that I've put into the parts to complete both arms. So even with two 3D printers working almost constantly, I'm actually really struggling to get the parts made every week to publish the videos on every Tuesday. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates on this project and other projects. A few people have asked me how I actually afford to pay to build all these projects with all that 3D printing filaments, materials and paints and so on. The answer to that is my Patreon crowdfunding campaign. Have a look at patreon.com slash xrobots where you can fund me for a small amount of money per video in exchange for some exclusive rewards, including access to a live broadcast with me. I'm also adding some other rewards towards the end of this week. Hopefully one day I can turn X-Robots into a production company making regular quality content funded by people who really want to watch it. So check out my goals on patreon.com slash xrobots. Check out some other videos in my channel, including my scrap metal inspired 3D printed HR Geiger alien xenomorph suits, my Iron Man build, and of course more information on my Iron Man Hulkbuster cosplay.